So if you have access to his legs, point them away. If you don't have access to his legs, walk them away. Utilize single arm cross faces. Yes? Either by going extremely deep here. If it's D, you can grab. There's always some uh, slack here. If there's nothing there for you, use his D. Yes? You can take his D. So you utilize a single arm cross face, so this hand is free. When you're basing your head out, Make sure you are the one who initiates the head, not them. Don't wait for them to push you and you go back. No. There's too much momentum. You initiate it. If I go here and I put my head down, he's going to have a hard time. But if I'm here, you can use the Yeah. Okay? Now, if you have, like he's here and he's put the leg up, especially I said this a lot, which is okay. If if he's not giving you access to the knee that you want to pin, walk him down. Now you have access. Yes? The same theory that we use to walk knees down when we, when we talk about half guard, same theory here. Lift your knees slightly off the mat, walk him down. As you walk his hip away, his knees point away. Yes? Don't go for lucky mounts. I think I can get it. Huh. Yeah? Before you know it, his shin is I mean, in between your legs and it's got you into some kind of space. Okay? Alright guys. Uh